Rivanna Medical, and today the company is very pleased because we learned that the United Kingdom NICE has performed a MedTech innovation briefing on our product, Acuro. Uh, we're very grateful for NICE to undergo this activity, review meticulously all the clinical evidence, and talk to expert commentators in the United Kingdom. Um, a lot of people here at the company have worked very hard over the last almost a decade to develop the technology and see it through the first few years of clinical evidence gathering and early adopters of the technology. Now this innovation briefing that's available to hospitals uh, that may want to also adopt the product is available both in the United Kingdom and around the world. And the MedTech briefings are really split into review of the published literature to date, so the clinical evidence, and then a section on expert commentary. So they take experts from within the United Kingdom, um, I believe all of which have had some exposure to the product, Acura, or uh, spinal and epidural anesthesia guidance, and then they see where there is concurrence on certain statements. And we were really pleased with the way that the uh, experts um, express their opinions about the Acuro and really echo the clinical evidence that does exist for it in terms of improving patient satisfaction, making procedures, especially in their obese uh, patients or more challenging patients with difficult spinal anatomy, uh, much easier to perform. The uh, four main studies that were reviewed in this briefing include a study out of uh, the Rizzoli Institute in Italy. Uh, there was another one from Dr. Caponia in uh, Italy and then a study at the University of Virginia, which is our hometown here in Charlottesville, Virginia for Rivanna Medical, uh, and then another performed by Dr. Carvalho over at Stanford. He's the um, Chief of OB Anesthesia over at Stanford. So we're really happy to see this, uh, to get more exposure for the product. Hopefully more uh, hospitals will take advantage of this new technology and a new standard of care for epidural and spinal anesthesia guidance.